Hi everybody, this is Scott Sharp with Fretboard Toolbox, and I was asked this week about relative minor keys, and I thought, well, I haven't ever explained those, and they kind of play a big role in my book. So today I'm going to show you all about the major versus relative minor, and show you how to visualize the chords and scales that make up the relative minor keys, some rules you can break, and hopefully they'll make a lot more sense. So let's get started, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, today I'm going to show you on a fretboard toolbox complete guitar edition and the um, we've got a whole column for major keys here and so this is 14 major keys uh, and then there's also a column for relative minor keys so every single major key has a relative minor key and they share a whole they share chords and they share scale notes but they just start and stop in different spots so let's uh, let's look at the key of C major and A minor. So this, uh, like the, the title here is the key of C major and A minor, because A minor is the relative minor of C major. And then if we look at this chord and scale jig up here, the chords that make up the key of C major, so there's, a, there's two sets of Roman numerals, the uh, first set and second set. The first set is in bold, and that's for the major key. So in the key of C major, C major is called my one chord, D minor is my two, E minor is my three, F major is four, G major is five, A minor is six, that's important, and then the seventh chord is actually diminished. Uh, this is a rule-breaking chord, so it's in italics. But just think about these six today, these first six ones. So the difference between the major and relative minor is major starts on the one chord here, or like that's the home chord, uh, and then it's got happy sounding songs. So like these kind of chord progressions uh, use these chords up here, and uh, but C is the home, so it's like C, F, and you just have minor chords in there, D minor, G, back to C. So that's in the key of C major. But then if I treat A minor as the root chord, so the second set of Roman numerals, A minor is the one chord in the key of A minor. Um, this diminished would be, B diminished would be the two chord, but forget that. The three chord in A minor is C major. The four chord is D minor. And the five chord is E minor and the sixth chord is F major, and the seventh chord is G major. So treating A minor as the root, all these other chords are gonna sound cool too, and you can make up tons of chord progressions just by messing around with those. Here's some minor chord progressions that you can play along just to hear what those sound like, but if now we treat A minor as the root, I can go to any of those other chords, So just going back to that A minor is just so cool and it just makes such a different sound. And so these chord progressions uh, will just get a totally different feel, even though you're using the same notes. Uh, like I should show you going across here in white boxes, so forget the italicized notes. Okay, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, that's the C major scale. The A minor scale, called the A natural minor, natural minor here, is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And if you look at all those notes in white boxes going across, it's the exact same notes. Okay, and so that's real important. And then to solo, like the scales I'd be interested in with would be like the A natural minor scale. But instead of treating this C as the root note, when I'm playing scales, I'll treat the A as a root note. And so, like if I look at this A here and I play, that was A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Here how it already sounds sad. Now I'm gonna play those exact same notes in white boxes, but start and end on the C. Half 
happy. Now I'm going to play the same notes and start on the A. Isn't that beautiful? Like, I think it's just the coolest thing. So every minor key is like that. And then if I want to play um, like the C major pentatonic, major pentatonic notes are underlined in my books. So that's C, D, E, G, A. The minor pentatonic is A, C, D, E, G, exact same notes. You're just starting and stopping on a different spot. So the chords are the same, it's just they have different Roman numerals and they uh, have different feels. The scales are the same. They use the exact same notes, the, the major and relative minor and the major pentatonic and, and minor pentatonic all use the same notes. They just start and stop on different spots. And then one thing that's really cool about minor keys is well, two things. One is like if you know what a one four five progression is for the, uh, like the key of the key of A major, it's A. D, E, A. If you look at the minor key, you got A is the one, A minor, D minor is the four, E minor is the five. So it's this one, four, five is the exact same thing. So um, except it's just minor chords. So one, four, five. And then there's a rule you can break that's super cool. And it's playing the five chord as a major chord. Okay, so that's E, G sharp, B instead of E, G, B. Okay, so if I play the five as a major chord, here's A minor's the one, D's the four, E major is a major five, and it's got just a whole bunch of extra tension because of this G sharp. So A minor, D minor, E major, A minor. So you can play it either way, but if you play it with the, the E major chord, then it's super cool to uh, take the natural minor key here, but instead of playing the G note, play a G sharp, and then, so it'd be A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp, A. And so I'd want to play that G sharp note over this five chord because that's part of the chord. So like the tension on this G sharp, G sharp, I'm playing this, this G sharp right here. And then it gets resolved by the A. So you can see that in all sorts of different keys. So if I want to know like what is, um, if I want to know for the key of G, what's the relative minor? It's E minor. And so G is my one in the key of G, but E minor is my one in the key of E minor. I want to know some chord progressions that sound good. I want to know some soloing scales that sound good. If I want to have that extra dark kind of major five chord sound on a on the key of E minor, I'll play B major instead of B minor. And then when I solo, when it gets to that five chord, I'm going to want to hit that D sharp sometimes because it's just going to sound really cool over the B major, but it won't sound cool over most of the rest of it. And so when, when you kind of get a chance to play with those minor keys, it opens up a whole new palette for you of different uh, sounds that you can get. And then I would really recommend, like when you want to start practicing soloing with these, uh, go to the uh, Fretboard Toolbox website and click on Tracks and Tab and go to the 200 free jam tracks. And then uh, this whole section, we got E minor chord progressions, F sharp minor chord progressions, uh, A minor chord progressions, B minor, C sharp minor. So for all the most common major keys, I've got the relative minors for those. And then you can just play along with those and, uh, and, and start hearing how those sound. And, and if there's some interest, I'll put out some videos later just noodling around on different instruments with the relative minor keys.
So if you want to learn more about fretboard toolboxes at the fretboard toolbox website, you just click on pick your instrument. And then I got instruments or books for all these different instruments. Um, today we are looking at guitar. If you want to read about my essential versus complete books, I've got that link there. It's my most common question. Read about print versus ebooks. See all the videos I've made on guitar or whichever instrument you pick. Um, and then if you click look inside on any of my books, you can download all of the instructions in the key of G major pages uh, for free. And so see if you find it useful or not. And it's really fun to pick a new instrument that you have lying around the house and then see like, okay, when I can see the chords that sound good together and where those notes are, can I uh, make some sense of these any faster? So anyways, I appreciate you stopping by and I will be back with more videos on more of my favorite instruments on more fretboard Fridays.